Computers suck at division. I realized this when I was coding some ARM assembly, trying to solve what I thought was a relatively simple problem. The prompt was to write a function, in assembly of course, that would convert a Fahrenheit temperature into Celsius. The equation for this is quite simple. The degrees in Fahrenheit, minus 32, times 5 divided by 9, yields the degrees in Celsius. This seemed simple enough, but it quickly turned into something that was much more complicated. As I was writing the code, setting up the stack and making room for local variables was an easy and familiar task. Next, I did the first part of the equation, subtract 32. Great success. I felt like I was on my way to a quick, low-level victory, but here I encountered my first problem, the fraction. Because 5 over 9 is not a whole regular number, I would have to use the ARM processor's floating point unit, or FPU, to do floating point math to get my answer. The problem was that not all ARM processors have an FPU, and without an FPU, I would have to rely on libc's floating point approximation libraries to just do the math for me, and that felt like cheating. Surely there is an easier way. Instead of treating 5 over 9 like a fraction, I decided to treat it like two separate operations. First, multiply by 5 and then divide by 9. Finally, the light at the end of the tunnel was beginning to show. And this is where the story takes a slight turn. I quickly learned that ARM cores didn't have a division instruction until 2004, and that most of the smaller Cortex-M series processors still don't support signed or unsigned division. How is this possible? Did the algorithms executed by those chips just never include division? After banging my head against a wall for a few hours, I decided to write the function in Godbolt and see what the assembler produced for the ARM solution. What stuck out to me was this magic number here. Instead of doing a division operation, my input was being multiplied by this large constant. Instead of just accepting that compilers and computers are black magic with deep mythical undertakings, I dove deeper. It turns out that the number here is being used to do what is referred to as fixed point multiplication. Wait, multiplication? I thought we were doing division. Hold your horses, we'll get there. The algorithm we're being asked to do was to multiply by 5 and then divide by 9. Because we can't divide by 9 because there are no divide instructions, what we could do instead is multiply by 1 over 9. The issue with 1 over 9 is that it is not a whole number and again, we can't use floats. This is where fixed point representation comes into play. We can represent 1 over 9 as a binary fixed point number, like this. 1 over 9 is an infinitely repeating binary pattern, but we can approximate the value to a certain point by truncating the pattern at this point here. Because we can't store the decimal point in binary like we can with floats, we'll just make the decimal point implied by scaling the number. We scale the number by shifting the decimal point in binary to the right by multiplying it by a very high power of 2. The exact power of 2 that you use depends on the accuracy that you want from the number and the number of bits that you have to work with. So boiling that all down, this number here is the result of 2 to the power of 33 divided by 9 and then we add 1 to approximate for the data that we lose by truncating the repeating pattern. Armed with this power, I felt like I was finally ready to solve the problem. Because I didn't want to cheat and just use the number they gave me, I decided to use my own magical constant. Using the same mathematical principle, I used this number here, which is just 2 to the power of 32 divided by 9 plus 1. In theory, it would provide the same results with just a bit less accuracy at higher input values, but working with degrees, I wasn't too worried about that. Finally, I could write my code. First, I subtracted 32 from my input number. Next, I multiplied it by 5. And finally, to approximate the division by 9, I would do a 64-bit multiplication where the result of the operation goes into two separate registers. Here, the high 32 bits are in R0 and the low 32 bits are in R4. Because the high 32 bits are in R0, we don't have to do any bit shifting and R0 by default contains our answer. Using this harness, I'm able to check to see if my function converts 86 degrees Fahrenheit to the correct answer of 30 in Celsius. We try it out and great success. After I finished the problem, I wanted to figure out why ARM chips didn't have divide instructions. It felt kind of odd to me. After some digging, the answer seemed pretty straightforward. Division is such a slow algorithm that chip designers typically create a separate set of circuits in the chip to accelerate the operation. These circuits take up a ton of silicon die space and are extremely expensive to make. Because of this, ARM decided they just weren't needed. And for certain variants of the Cortex-M0, they still don't. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed making that video. If you liked it as well, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and then go watch this video about how I hacked my own server using a buffer overflow with strings. I'll see you there.